movie reviews. I've been wanting to see this movie for a long time. I missed it in the theaters, but Alita Battle Angel. It's directed by Rich Rodriguez. I think I nailed that off the top of my head. Produced by James Cameron. What do you know? A 3D beauty of a film. Great action. So, so story. Pacing was off, but amazing action. Great acting. Christoph Waltz. And that's all I know who's in that movie. But great acting overall. The vision was there. And there might be a sequel there. But unfortunately, I'm not jumping head over heels for the sequel. While this was good, smart, it was fun. It was a little plot drifts. I couldn't wait for the action scenes. I mean, seriously, this is what you're going to the movie theaters and your friend's basement to see. Alita is this samurai fighting cyborg body who's whooping ass, kicking everybody's ass, cracking necks, cashing checks, whatever they say. The action's phenomenal, but know what you're going for, okay? Not gonna give it an A. I almost gave it a B plus. B. Fair. It's like in between a B and a B plus, like a B us, a bus. It's a bus. The next movie gets worse. Sleepless. 2017 Sleepless. Jamie Foxx is a Las Vegas cop who's undercover for two years. His family's falling apart. The action is I. The acting is I. Everything is good besides the movie. No. The. It was okay. It was loose. It was watchable it was decent but this is going to be the lowest film that i rate so far on ike the Gun's history this is a c the second lowest was jake gyllenhaal's enemy movie where he's a twin spoiler alert but sleepless is the actual worst at least Jake Gyllenhaal killed his performance. Not saying Jamie Foxx was bad, but he was a little above average. It wasn't Kingdom. It wasn't Ray Charles. It wasn't that movie where he's the orchestra guy with Robert Downey Jr. This was above average. It seemed like it was a cast to check, move the ball, move the chains, but it wasn't phenomenal. So I'm giving it a C. Did I explain enough? Don't see it. Watch Alita Bad Angel. That's better.